All right, well, somebody said that today's Octortal Rescue was the most fun they've had in a while. So either this is a really fun puzzle or this person has a sad life. I'm not sure which. You be the judge. <laughs> okay, so the way Octortal Rescue works is it's, it's just like normal Octortal, except the first four guesses have already been done for us. So it's kind of similar to doing the Octortal using the answers from the Cordal in that you don't get to guess what the first four words are. So, um, it doesn't look like they've done us any favors here. Uh, so this one's interesting with the F over here. So, final is the first thing I think of, but of course there's no A or L. Interesting, if you do F-I-N, yeah, okay, so let's think about vowels here. So we've done A, E, I, and O. There could still be a U, but how would you do a U? Fun something, but then the I would have to be at the end. Oh, fun guy. Fun guy would be good. Actually, actually, fun guy is really good there. Okay, let's keep that in mind. I'll come back to that. That's really good, though. Uh, this is something LLY. And remember, the only vowel we haven't checked yet is the U, so it's got to be ULLY. But it can't be fully. It could be gully. It could be bully. Sully. Okay, so there's a few options there, but if we do fun guy, we'll check the G, so that'll be good. This, I mean, obviously I'm gonna think C-R-A, but it could also be R-A-C-K, something like that. Uh, or the C could be in both places, it could be crack, in fact. Crack, in fact. Uh, Hmm, I'm sure there's something else that could be a uh, crash crash is possible. We haven't done an S or an H yet uh, What about over here, so there's an L a D and R So Lurid lurid yeah with the U oh And in fact in fact, I just noticed ionic has two eyes so we've already checked a word with two eyes so you know, this first word, the second word, and the last one all have an I and no other vowel. And so if there's gonna be two vowels, there's gonna have to be a U. And like this one here, okay, so this last one. Let's say there's not another vowel, right? Let's say it's just the one I. Well, you need a triple consonant then at the beginning. You can't even use a Y. And two of those letters have to be D, R, and L. No, no, it's not gonna work. There's gotta be a U. It's gonna be lurid. It's gonna be lurid. Okay, very nice. And that found the U here, just like I was thinking. And the I is definitely at the end. The F is definitely at the beginning. It is this. I mean, it's gotta be fungi. What else could it be? Awesome. And that checked the G here which there's not a G, so that eliminated the G there, so that's good. Oh, we also eliminated, uh, no, we already had eliminated the D. Uh, but here there's a G, which I didn't know. Oh, so this is gonna be U-D-G-E, so like, budge or judge or pudge. I think those are the options now. There's a few other options, but the letters have already been eliminated, like the F. So budge, pudge, or judge there. And this could be bully. Or is Sully an acceptable guess? I thought so, yeah. Pulley is not spelled that way. Oh, pulley is, that is a pulley. Isn't pulley? Yeah, pulley, like a, a, a pulley that you put a rope around is E-Y. But pulley is apparently a word. Maybe it's an alternate spelling or something. I don't know. And this could still be crack or crash. So, you know, we do get one more test word. So we might we might need to do a word using some of those letters. I don't know which ones. Okay. Uh, anyways, let's 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 think. What what do we have here? We've had the I, and that's the only vowel is the I, right? We we don't have A, E, O, U, or Y. The only vowel is the I. We only have one I from Ionic. And it has to be second or third, probably third. It's more likely that we're gonna have a double consonant at the beginning and a double consonant at the end than that there's a triple consonant. But it is possible to have a triple consonant. Now, what I'm thinking is S-T-I, 
something like that. But what would that be? We can't do stick. There's no C. So, uh, well, I I could actually think of a word, but it's uh it's it's not an appropriate one. So, uh, it starts with an S H. But it could still be something swish. Swish would work. I was I was trying to think of things with. Uh, no, we need to have a T. It can't be swish. Ah, I was trying to think of things with S H or T H. Something I T H. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. We could also start with T H. But. I, I can't think of anything that works then. It's interesting, interesting. Seems like we should be able to... Oh, oh! Uh... Wits? Wits. That's a tough one. I don't know if I'm ready to guess that yet, but uh, that would be interesting. Okay, well, I'm thinking bully or pulley or solely here. Budge, Judge, or Pudge. So both of those have a B or a P as an option. This is Crash or Crack, I think. So that one's got an S. This one might have an S. I just don't know much on these other ones. I mean, this one only has A, but it could have... It could have two A's. We can't quite do Salad, because the L can't be third, but... There's still probably several things that could be. And this one has the U and the E. It's probably something U-R-E, which again has to have several possibilities. Actually, I'm not sure. Or or it could be an E-R. We could do a U here. Usher is really good there. Well, how sure am I of Usher? The problem is I only get one test word, or one word that's not an answer. So if I guess that and it's not the answer, then I've wasted. Yeah, I, I don't... I think I think Usher is really good, but I don't know if I'm confident enough to guess that. So I'm thinking I want to do something with a B and a P, and then maybe an S or a K or an H or a W or something. You know, we could do Plum, which does the P and the B. The M is another letter. I wasn't necessarily thinking about M, but there could be an M on one of these. And it does give us a new spot for the L over here, so we'll locate the L on this word. Be nice to get the S, though. Um, plums, but I want to do the B. Plubs. Ooh, plebes! Plebes! We could do plebes, which does all the same things. Because the U, we don't necessarily... I mean... You know, we could check for the U here, but... I think checking the S is more important. Yeah, for crack versus crash here. And I'm sure there's probably something else that could be too, but... Let's go with plebes. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so the L is at the end over here. Ooh, there's a B and an S! Wow, that was huge. So, basil. I think it's gonna be basil. Uh, this is bully, for sure. That one's a definite. This is not budge or pudge. I think it has to be judge, doesn't it? It's definitely D third and E at the end now. That is a given. It's gotta be judge, but I'm a little worried maybe there's another one like is mudge a word? Okay. Um, and this is not Usher, because there's a B. So it's a good thing I didn't guess Usher. It's not even E-R or R-E at the end. It's S. So... And there's a B second or third. Rebus! Oh, wow! It's Rebus, isn't it? Oh man, okay. Whew. That's a that's a word. Okay. Uh <laughs> obviously it's a word. I mean that's a, that's quite the word. <laughs> um, so I still think this is gonna be basal. The L is at the end, the B 
B is at the beginning. I mean, we almost have to have, it's not BS. That, that's BS if you think it starts with BS. Um, so it's gotta be BA. And then it's not gonna be SL. So the S is, yeah, it's gotta be basal. There we go. It's another interesting word for sure. Uh, let's adjust things here so we don't go off the bottom of the screen. All right, we got three words left, three guesses left. So it's, it's, I think if I have to guess, I'm gonna guess judge, but mudge, is wedge a thing? I don't think it is, no, okay. Wedge is a thing. I still just, I have no idea on this one. No, wit, no, wits isn't possible anymore. Look at that, the S isn't at the end. Oh man. Uh, oh, it can't be visit. No, there's only one I. I has to be third. I mean, if the I is second, how are we gonna do T-S-H or something? Is that how you spell kitsch? No, that's like a, no, I don't know how, or is it, it might even be S-C-H. I-T-S-H, uh, is that a thing? I don't think it is, and I don't know how else you're gonna get Triple consonant at the end. Oh, oh, Smith. Smith works. Oh, Smith is good. Mm, that's the only thing I can think of. And what's really good about Smith is it checks for the M on Mudge versus Judge. Okay, and this one, let's go back to this one because it can't be Crash anymore. There's no S. So what I'm thinking is crack so if the c is at the beginning and it's not crack what else could it be it can't be cramp there's no p it can't be you know craw you'd need an s or an l if you do v you need to have an e and if it's something else r a c k oh rack with a w <sighs> shoot and these other two words aren't gonna help me with that one. It's gonna be a 50-50 on that one. All right, well, I think it's gonna be Smith. I'm gonna go with that. Smith, okay, good. And for people who are saying, hey, I thought names weren't allowed, a Smith is someone that um, makes like a goldsmith or a blacksmith, somebody that works with something. There's other types of Smiths. Okay, so there's no M, so it is gonna be judge. And then our final word, crack or rack. Uh, somebody said I should flip a coin if it's a 50-50. Let me grab, I've got a coin here, I've got a quarter. All right, here is my quarter, heads and tails. It's not a double-headed coin. All right, let's say heads is crack and tails is rack. Ready? Here we go, flip. And there you go, it's heads. So, crack. That was my first instinct. So, uh, I don't know, let's go for it. Was it crack? Oh, it was rack! Oh, stupid quarter. <laughs> Blame the coin, it's the coin's fault. All right, well. Lost a 50-50. You know, if I didn't do the coin flip, I probably would have said, let's go with my first instinct anyways, so. Ah, almost got there, so close. Well, I don't know, I mean, plebes was really good for some of the things. It did not help with crack versus rack, so I'm not sure what, and all the rest of my guesses were the answers, so I'm not sure what I should have guessed different. Let me know what I should have guessed instead of plebes that would have still given me the information I needed for the others, but helped me with crack versus rack. Was there something else I should have done? I mean, I didn't necessarily need to have the L. I mean, getting the L at the end was helpful here, but I probably would have got that one eventually anyways, especially getting the B at the beginning with bully. So maybe I should have done something with a C at the beginning instead of doing the P, I don't know. But I feel like then I would have had a harder time with some of the other ones. I don't know, let me know what you think and how you did with this Octortal Rescue. Did you survive? Did you come down to a 50-50 at the end? Was it even worse than that? 
and which word did you think was the hardest? And of course, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Historians believe that around 49 of the 56 delegates signed the document that day, and one person for sure, Matthew Thornton of New Hampshire, eight, which is 19 minus 11. Yeah, 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 that'll work. So seven times three means, oh, and this one is a definite E now. No, it's not, no, it's not, Never mind. No, 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 because this E can be pointing at the green E down there. Well, that was really bad, really, really bad. So the only words that use the W or the L are the words that start with the W and the L. So, oh, poo, like Winnie the Pooh.